Hello, hello, welcome to this year's important meeting. My name is Safeli Kapianga, the Master of Ceremony for this year's 2022 COP27, representing Zambia from Kapete Secondary School. And uh, I welcome you once again, uh, asking you please be free and contribute to this meeting. But before we go to our start of our, of our programs, may I first invite Mr. Piri to give us what he has. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Mr. MC. Uh, my gratitude goes to the school management, uh, the matron for the conservation club, and to all of you boys and girls. So I'm here basically to give the reason why we are having a COP27 that's parallel to the one that's taking place in Egypt right now. We know that not every one of us can travel to Egypt, but our voices matter. In fact, your voices matter the most because you come from a country where we are feeling the impacts of climate change. So the reason why we are having this parallel COP is to make sure that your voices are represented, they are listened to, they are shared, and we get the change that we, we want. So what are the things that we are looking at? Firstly, we all agree that climate change is real and it's taking place in real time. We are noticing streams dry. We know Kapete is dry. It only flows when it's raining. It never used to be like that. When you're coming to this school, you cross the Chombe River, the water is stagnant. It never used to be like that. It used to flow. Just meters from this school, you've got farmers that have wells that are dry. In the past, they used to have water. We know we have hunger. So we don't even want to debate the existence of climate change. We know it's real. We can see and feel the impacts. The issue is, what are we going to do about it? And that's why we make a demand that we want the countries of the world, most especially the developed world, to do something about it. We want them to pay for loss and damage. We want them to pay for adaptation. We want them to pay for mitigation. But that's not enough. We also recognize the fact that us as individuals also have to take action. Before anyone helps us, we will have to speak up and take action. We will have to take a stand and do something ourselves. So this platform, is for you, and I now hand over the floor to you as the pupils. It's your show. Thank you so very much for your guide and actually your explanation has made us know why we are here, and you really explained very well. So everyone has got your point and your family, your speech. Therefore, I am here now, uh, uh, humbled and I'm humbling myself uh, for the delivery that I've been given. May I now call upon the group of poetry to give us what they have in their poem. Thank you. Without trees, you cannot live. 
Trees are important because they are a habitat to animals. Trees are also used for carpentry. Our environment, our future, our prosperity save our environment. We say no. We say no to for, to deforestation. Planting planting trees for a single one cut. My kind, so smart, sometimes blind. Leaving GMO foods far behind. We are moving fast and growing hard. Forgetting African food are the ones in charge. Amazed when African food leaves our bell, sending us to living hell. Sanitation is important to avoid good health and well being, to avoid the spread of diseases in our country. Recycling papers, bottles, and plastic can be recycled. See, if you wish our seal, shake any city. If right you feel, we shall pee. Yes, yeah, someone speaks on his behalf. I fear I just with the golden cow. It's true, we must treat seed right or we think I get this light. Treat seed with distinction or sure it takes extinction. Let's follow the three arrows. The what? Three arrows. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Our poem was narrated and directed by Hot Girls. Veronica, no. With go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Else? That was uh, the, the message that we, uh, they had for us. And it is a very important message for us. Thank you very much. Okay, we appreciate you once again. Uh, I am humbled, very humbled, and very grateful to have this privilege to call the President of France, His Excellency President Emmanuel Macron. Let's cheer for the President. <laughs> Bonjour, COP27. Bra, bra, bra. Magnifique. Bra, bra, bra. Egalic. Bra, bra, bra. Solidaric. Bra, Zafrique. Merci beaucoup. Fantastic. Voilà. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for speech, important speech. We thank you, we appreciate you. I am deeply humbled to have this privilege again to call upon the President of United States of America, USA, the President of Honor, Joe Biden. Let's see the President. Thank you for this opportunity to speak at this COP27. Blah, blah, blah. Climate change. Blah, blah, blah. Drought and floods. Blah, blah, blah. We will overcome. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Your Excellency, for your speech. It is really a very important speech that you have given us. We thank you, appreciate you once again. Uh, and you know, we call the reason why we call these speeches blah blah blah. It is because we are we are. It is because here at the conference we do more of talking but less in action. Therefore, we call for less talking and more action. Thank you very much for your speech, uh, Your Excellency. I thank you and I'm humbled. Once again, for have this privilege to call upon the President of South Africa, uh, His Honor, President Senior Ramaphosa. Let's hear the President. Africa. Viva Africa! Viva!